Hey guys, how are you? Taiwan is famous for its tea, warm weather all year round and great cuisine. And in this video we continue discovering new places in Taiwan. Taichung. Well, you might think, oh, it's just another city I've never heard of. But actually, it's the second largest city of Taiwan with a population of 2.8 million. It's a vibrant city with a thriving cultural scene located on the west coast of Taiwan. Traveling from Taipei to Taichung is no problem at all. The distance between the two cities is about 160 kilometers and can be covered by high-speed train in under 40 minutes or about two hours by car. You will find many Japanese influences in many aspects of life in Taichung. Why is that? After China lost the Sino-Japanese War in 1895, Taiwan was ceded to Japan. The Japanese wanted to make the city the first modern area of Taiwan and invested in the infrastructure by building roads and dams. You can see the heritage of the Japanese colonial era in many parts of the city. For example, the building of Museum of Suncake is well-maintained century-old architecture which once was a pharmacy. Another example is the ornate brick building of Taijun Station and many others. New parts of the city look amazing, like Situn District. Once it was just part of the countryside, but now it's the second most populated district with malls and office buildings and modern apartment buildings. I like it that the buildings don't just stand side by side, there are many green areas in between. At times, this part of the city reminded me of New York City and its Central Park. The highlight of the district is the National Taijun Theater, which is an opera house. It's a 21st century cultural facility. It was designed by a Japanese architect, Toyo Ito, who put it this way. If you see the entire world as a river, then I want my buildings to be like a whirlpool. Let's take a short walk around this district. Let's take a walk around the city of Taichung, Taichung City. Now it's the second largest city in Taiwan. Years ago, Kaohsiung is the, the second largest in Taiwan. Okay. But recently, Taichung is the second largest. Hi. Hi. Doing well? Yes. Yeah, nice. right, good. <laughs> National Taiwan Museum of Natural Science. It's a world-class educational facility, actually composed of seven museums in one. The part that I visited was about human life, and man, I was impressed. This is how we age. Nobody wants to be aging. There's also a huge botanical garden outside. They say it's the largest and the best equipped educational center in all of Taiwan. Hello. Ni hao. Hi. Ni hao. <laughs> Are you from Taichung? Yeah. Great. Tell me three things you love about the city. Friend boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's one. <laughs> Most important uh, one. Okay. Uh, night market. Night, night market. market. Yeah, Which night one? Uh, Feng Jia. Okay. Feng Jia night I visited that last night. <laughs> what else? My college. <laughs> My <laughs> college. University. Oh, your college. University. Okay. What's your What's the name of your college? Uh, China Medical University. Medical University. Uh. Oh, wonderful. You like it? Uh, I like it. Okay. Now, is Taichung better than uh, Taipei? Yes. <laughs> Why? Weather. You know weather? Uh, weather. The weather. 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 Yeah, weather. weather. Less rain. Uh. Less rain. Not as much rain here. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, guys. And have a good day. Have a good day. Bye bye. Thank, Again. You. Thank you. Bye bye. bye bye. Starting from here, you can take a walk along what's known as Calligraphy Greenway, which is a 3.6 kilometer long, tree line arts and cultural center of the city. It's a hub of creativity where you can enjoy performances and exhibits and explore artsy neighborhoods with interest in shops and boutiques. This is, for example, Arthas Menethil bronze statue. Blizzard Entertainment has built and installed a massive 14-foot, 4,000-pound bronze statue of Lich King Arthas Menethil, a fictional character from Warcraft. 
along the strip's pace, you'll also find Civil Square, National Taiwan Museum of Fine Arts, and unusual buildings like this one. Park Lane by CMP, with 20 meter tall vertical garden walls. By the way, this building was renovated from an abandoned parking lot. Another part of the city that's recently been renovated is Liuchuan Canal, which means Willow River. During the day, Liuchuan is a perfect place for families, as kids can have fun watching koi fish in the clear water. At night, it turns into a romantic place illuminated with sparkling lights. There's a number of night markets, the largest of which is Fenqia Night Market. It's actually one of the largest in all of Taiwan. During the weekend, this market can get as many as 30,000 visitors. You can find delicious snacks, exotic fruit and drinks, clothes and other goods at reasonable prices. When it comes to public transportation, the city has a fully developed bus system, but it doesn't have a subway or an MRT system yet. An MRT system has been planned for nearly 20 years, however the plan was never carried out. By the way, I love the design of the bus stops. Have you ever tried bubble tea? Chun Shui Tan original store claims to be the home of bubble milk tea, also known as pearl milk tea. Sure, I had to visit it. Besides bubble tea, you can try many other types of this refreshing drink. Tea is the most popular drink here, so no wonder. Taiwan is very famous for its tea, and every place you go to, there is a good choice of different tea. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. And I've ordered mango tea. We'll see what it's like. Local roads are of great quality. To rent a car, you need to bring your international driver's permit from your home country. You can rent a car for $50 to $70 a day. But the primary mode of transportation is the motor scooter. At every red light, scooters accumulate at the stop line, revving and ready to roll as soon as the light turns green. In fact, they're so important they even have a monument to a scooter along that same calligraphy greenway. You'll also see a whole lot of orange bicycles. They're part of the iBike system, which boasts over 200 stations and thousands of bikes. Borrowing an iBike is easy, just tap your transit card. Trips under 30 minutes are free. Too bad you have to have a local SIM card to sign up. I was trying to ask people some questions on the street, but soon realized that English is not widely spoken here. But the friendliness of people and the universal language of smiles worked out just fine. Oh, you want to be in the picture? Yeah. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao. Hi, Taiwan. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Not a lot of people speak English, but everybody's friendly. <laughs> Ponyo. Yeah, Ponyo. <laughs> do you like living in the city? The city? Yeah. Yes, I love it. What do you like about it? Um, about people. People? Mm, yes. And Better than in Taipei? Taipei? Yes, but Taipei is crowded. Ah, too mm -hmm. crowded. Yes, yeah. and weather is wet. wet. The weather's wet. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's why I came here. It oh, was really? raining the whole time. Oh, you love it? I love it. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, it's like well, parks everywhere, not mm -hmm. so crowded. What's your name? My name is Joanne. It's nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Staying in shape. <laughs> uh, good, good. How you doing, guys? Can I ask you a question? Hey. I'm a... Uh, I'm making a video about Taiwan and I want to learn more about the city. Uh, do you live in this city? No. No? Where are you from? Hey, Miao Li. Miao Li. Hey. Okay, so you're just visiting? Huh? You're just visiting here? Yeah. Okay, how do you like it? Hey, I just hold It's good? It's good. The city is green and has a lot of parks and recreational areas, like this maple garden. A unique, 
U-shaped recreational green land for the city residents. The oldest city park is Taijun Park, built under Japanese rule in 1903. It has an artificial lake, a couple of century-old pavilions, an outdoor stadium, kids' playgrounds, and a tennis court. Taijun is blessed with a wonderful climate. It is often compared to California because of the abundance of dry and sunny days. It's very safe. Day or night, you don't have to worry. Taijun has a low crime rate and it's very safe for visitors. There is a number of universities and international schools in the city, as well as a handful of language schools for foreigners to study Mandarin or Taiwanese. Like many of Taiwan's older cities, Taijun has a lot of old temples and shrines. The great thing about Taijun is that it's the gateway for exploring the island's natural beauty because it is surrounded by wetlands and mountains and it's a popular starting place for hiking. I think Taijun is a perfect combination of parks, busy city life and a great climate. Would you agree? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you heard about Taijun before this video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.